So I want to do a quick video on a coping technique that I like. And I'm going to uh, make two assumptions here that who's ever watching this has probably seen a thousand videos on this. Or the other assumption is, is that no one knows anything about coping. So I'm just going to explain the, uh, the first technique first, which is the first technique first. When you cope, you cut your piece at a 45 degree angle and you cut it out with a coping saw and you follow the contour and this contour will line up perfectly. So now that I've got it that far and uh, for me I like to put the blades the, or the teeth are on the downstroke. Um, so when you get this far with it you can just go back and make a straight cut on your cutoff saw and then you cut you come to your cutoff saw and you cut the, another 45 right down that contour until you get down to where you've already coped that out so then you'll have something that looks a little bit like that and uh, this is cut back 45 and if it's not quite what you want, then all you have to do is just file down the back side of it a little bit to get it to fit. So, and then when you go to install it, it should look something very close to that. And the idea is, is that even if your walls aren't square, you can bend it that way and it'll still look tight, or even bend it out that way and still get tight. 